very quickly, I'll tell you my dream. In two minutes, in, in one, 30 seconds. Okay. I'm with Christian. We go to a port and there is a berth and then a, a, a glass see-through uh, super yacht. He is a super yacht captain in real life. We get onto the yacht and there are two decks and I, and I look and then the top deck is, he goes up to the top deck and I realize he's the captain. And I look at him like, it's full. Like every cabin is full. I'm looking at him going like, what am I with in your cabin? He goes, no. And so I'm wandering around looking for a cabin and they're all full. And then, and I, and then suddenly he's beside me and he points around a corner and there's a cabin I hadn't noticed. I walk in, it's all glass windows, glass walls, glass, everything. Like you can see through everything. And there's three women in there. And I said, oh, is this your cabin? They don't say a word, they leave the cabin. So I'm in the cabin. Next thing I know, I'm on the mainland. I'm wandering around shopping and suddenly I panic. I don't have my purse. I don't have my cell phone. How am I going to contact him? I don't know where the ship is. And then uh, I'm wandering around in a panic because I don't have a cell phone. How am I going to call him? <clears throat> suddenly I realize that my purse is strapped over my shoulder and I look in and there's my cell phone. It's blinking with a blue light and he's, he's connecting to me. So I make my way down to the port and they're all empty berths. And it seems to be under a, a big sort of overhang. And uh, so I start wading out <laughs> into the water and I'm thinking, okay, I don't know. I know I've got my cell phone so I can reach him, but I'm wading out into the wander, water wondering where's the ship. And then a power boy, boat comes along and there's a guy in it. I'm like, oh, he's just going to take me to the ship. <laughs> yeah. So I don't know why you're having the dream. Um, the, it's not about Christian and you. It's about Jesus and you. Um, and so what they're saying is that he was with you. Like, so you obviously have some special relationship because he came across. It's like he came across with you. He was with you at your birth. Um, and it was kind of like that was a condition that you wanted uh, met. And so you were. Like you said, you 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 and Christian. What way did you say it at the start? Just Christian, to point out where the Christian and I are in the port. We walk uh, onto this uh, enormous super yacht. It's a glass super yacht. Yeah. So, so intuitive. So anyway, so that's it. You said it was a berth as well. I think. Yeah, it was. It was in the berth. All right. So that's the symbol for birth. So he was with you at the time of your birth and uh came almost like he came into the physical with you so the glass thing though is all about intuition how strong would you say your intuition is like how much do you use intuition in what you do i'm using more of it now because i can see people's past lives i um, ah, okay i'm seeing more i like even today i had two clients today and i could see the like one was a, a Scottish soldier dead or no, her, her son had died. I could see him laid out. I could even see the lovely little, you know, the, the detail on his, uh, on his clothing. Um, and yeah, I see people's past lives quite clearly now, or I'll see, yeah, I, I see their past lives rather clearly. Do you see what people are going to pass from? Not, not like I used to. No. All right. No, I was asking because of the three women leading. Anyway, he goes back to his position, which is at the top, which is above, like in the heavens, as far as the boat is concerned. And you're on the regular deck, but you don't feel welcome. So it's like, there's no place for me. Um, and this is your start at life, feeling like there's no place for me. And then he shows up again and says, um, here's your place. And you go in, but these three women leave. So it means that by the age three, you'd, you had disconnected from your feminine side. And um, I asked about same, when people die because of that leaving, but it wasn't. They'd already told me it was that's when you disconnected. And so a lot of your life will be about reestablishing that connection again um, because that's the, that was the goal. But anyway, um, 
then you find yourself lost and you're out in the town. So, okay. So it's like, it's all about birth and how does birth relate to now? So how it relates to now is at times when you feel lost or have in the past and felt lost, the, the thing that you, that they want you to realize is that you always have a connection. There's never a point when you don't have a connection, that this has been the agreement that there would always be a connection. So even when you say I've lost my purse and it turns out, oh no, I have it. Not only do I have it, Jesus is trying to connect to you because like the blue lights blinking, you didn't even have to make the call. Right. And yeah. same last time he just shows up and, uh, and he's right there. So, um, and it has been the story of your life because you found out afterwards that he stepped into the body of this person and did various other things, you know? Um, so it's like, you're never disconnected even when you feel disconnected or never were even when you felt it. Um, and so now you're getting deeper and deeper into the spiritual stuff and you're at a sense of feeling lost again because you're up to your waist and you're like, how am I going to get to this boat? It's not as bad as the lost in the city, probably. Can you see the boat from this point of the dream, from where you are in the dream? When I'm waiting in the water, no, I can't see the boat. Right. I, I just know right. I, I'm going to get there. So as that's your goal is to get, get there, get home, reconnect with your intuition which you're clearly doing now which is probably why you're having the dream completely why you're having the dream um and so it's an element of okay just trust it's going to feel like i'm getting deep and then somebody's going to be sent like i'm going to get the help i need whatever and wherever i'm always going to get the help i need um and the, the power boat you said it's a power boat so that's like the healing that you're doing that you do with people that is um the way to that helps. Let me just check. Is it the healing that you're doing? Is it the remote healing that you're doing too? Is it the remote healing that you're doing? The spirit rescue that, that you do for people. It's not lost spirit rescue, but the work that you do, they're, they're calling it spirit. Like you're helping restore people's souls. Um, I actually did that, a spirit rescue today. <laughs> all right. Okay. All right. So the words are right. I'm like, okay, why do they call it spirit rescue? All right. So that's, that's what's helping you so doing that is what's going to um allow you to complete your goal which is to fully reconnect with your feminine side and feminine side is all about accepting and and your inner world your feelings your philosophy of life but the acceptance and forgiveness and compassion and all that i mean you already have a lot of that so you're like well how can i go deeper the deeper part is the full acceptance like that i'm always okay um, you know, Jesus said he'd be there for me, so I have to accept that. And that's, no matter what we think, we're shit at that. <laughs> it's like, uh, so anyway, that's what it is. But forgiveness, acceptance, all that stuff, um, you know, uh, it's kind of weird. It's a, like allowing people be who they are, but also allowing you be who you are, you know, just accepting yourself as you are, which most of us do not do. And when you have strong feminine energy, that's one of the beauties of it, that you don't try to change yourself to change anyone else or to impress anyone else or to do anything. It's just like, this is who I am. And I like who I am, you know, or I love again, because it's feminine energy, who I am. Anyway, it's a good dream. Really oh, good. Dream. Your ability always astonishes me, Michael. You hit on so many points. It's like, yeah, bang on. Uh, the masculine side, yeah, very strong throughout my life. Very strong. Corporate. I yeah, like. no, but, you know, I've never seen that connection with Jesus in anybody else's dreams. Like he walked across the uh, the ramp onto the boat. So he, he, he it's almost like he was with you in the womb. All the way till you were born i have the strongest connection to jesus <laughs> um i mean that's what this book about the next book is about it's um i didn't know i did i didn't know but he has been haunting me you know since he appeared on palm sunday 2012 he's just on me on me and you know just wake up wake up like this is who you are this is yeah this is but what well, what they said when i was doing your dream is you asked for that 
Jesus said when he first appeared that I had failed him, but I had a second chance. And I've been puzzling over that since 2012. I mean, I can imagine a thousand ways I've failed him, but specifically, I, I've always wondered what he meant. So you've had all the training, but you didn't, when it came to the time, you didn't step in front of bullets. So it's like, you already know everything. And so this time around, you're saying, you don't want to make the same mistake. And that's why you wanted him to be sure here with you to make sure that you made it. Like, it's not really that you failed him. Him is the, him being the way. And at least that's what they're saying. So it's like, you already know everything, but didn't trust or didn't accept or didn't, you know, that there's an element within you that made you hold back. But I think that would be 99.99999% of the planet. You know, it's, it's not really, uh, oh, look, it's very few people achieve this, but you should achieve it. Thank you. I'll work harder. <laughs> no, but you do work hard. Of all the people I know, it, like I could say you de dedicate your life to this work. That's what you do. And it's almost all you do. I couldn't say that about anybody else. You know, it's uh, including me. Really? It's, it's not all I do. It's most of what I do. But you, you definitely are you give a lot more like um, even in your, your diet, when they ask you to do things, um, you always do them, Sweet. you know, whereas I skirt around them for a long time and eventually spiral in down the drain into them. <laughs> you know, it's, uh... Oh, I have my challenges. Okay. I have, I'm not certainly not perfect, but right now well, it's I... my perception. I'm not channeling that, but that's my perception. You know, that uh... you, you're a workaholic in this field. Well, that's true. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I don't feel like I'm ever close enough, to be honest. I don't. Like even just now, I was watching something about Edgar, Edgar Casey, and I prayed, can I be better than Edgar Casey? Like, is there an opportunity to be better? And they said, uh, heal, Elizabeth, you're here to heal and write the book. <laughs> so, so the heal is the, is the feminine energy and the trusting and accepting. Um, but here's the thing. It, it seems like a humble thing, like accept who I am, accept who I am. But part of accepting who you are is accepting that you have the Christ light and you are a Christ. And so it's like, it's not accept my failings. It's also accept all your strengths. <laughs> it's, it's so, um, unbelievable right but that's the book that's the name of the book they showed me the name of my book the ineffable story of us and if if i can't grasp it how can others right so well people people won't grasp it unless you know it's it's your journey and your difficulties with it that's what helps people grasp it because that's where everybody else is is in the struggle so like if you were to say i got up in the morning and jesus appeared and suddenly i had all jesus's powers that's that wouldn't matter even if there was a hundred pages to that or a thousand but if you talk about the struggle you had to getting to that point then people can go on the journey with you and they can <laughs> learn themselves you know oh, whereas there's nothing to relate to if you're just there okay thank you for that that helps i appreciate that what a journey. <laughs> Thank you for watching this clip from the Dream Interpretation podcast. If you want to hear the whole show, there's a link directly under this video. Please like and share with your friends, all of your friends. And don't forget to subscribe to the podcast at the Dream Interpretation Podcast.com. That's also where you can submit your dream to the show and have yours featured. You can also download my free dictionary that has thousands of symbols that will help you understand the meaning of your dreams. Thanks for listening.